Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Sarah Christina and if you're returning, welcome back. You know I love having you all here. Now I know it's been forever since I filmed last as if you guys follow me on Twitter you know that I've been going through some stuff. Um, my grandfather passed away and had some family issues going on, but I am back and ready to review and play with some makeup with you guys again. It's been so long and I've missed you guys so, so much. <laughs> so I am so excited about this. We are actually going to review the last and final palette that I found at Dollarama. And this was the Smoky palette. So this is what it looks like on the outside. It is so pretty. I really love the sequence on it just makes it so much more prettier. It is a 12 color eyeshadow palette. It does come with a little mirror and those are the shades. Now it, there's a lot of gray tones as you guys can tell and then we got a little bit here. Um, we got a pink, a peach, a brown and then just a white shimmery shade. Now it's a very beautiful palette and this retailed for $4 at Dollarama. So I'm excited to get into it and see if this one worked just as well as the other two did because the other two, I was very impressed with them. They actually turned out really, really beautiful and worked really well on the eyes. So let's get into a reviewing and trying out this palette. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. So how, how, how have you guys been? What have you guys done? How was your Christmas? Let me know in the comment section down below because I want to know everything. <laughs> I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I've missed you all so much. So leave it all down there. I want to read it all. <laughs> all right. So first things first, I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go into, they all look like they're shimmers to me. I think they are. Okay, so I'm going to go into this peachy shade here. I don't know if you guys can really tell the color of it. But I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And I'm just going to pop that into the crease. So, oh, that's very powdery. So let's see if we're going to get anything from this shade. Well, not much, but it is a very light shade. Now the only thing I don't like about these palettes is how they're so narrow that it gets to be a little difficult to get your brush in there, especially like your um, fluffy brush, your blending brush. So it's very difficult to get in there, but other than that, they seem like all right palettes for what you're paying for. Um, like I said, they retail for $4 at the Dollaramas here in Canada. Um, I don't know if you can find them anywhere else. If anybody knows anywhere else that these are sold, let me know in the comment section so then maybe others can find them and try them out themselves. If any of you have picked them up at your local Dollarama and you've tried them, let me know what you thought about them in the comment section because I want to know your thoughts also. And so far, it's not too bad. Like I said, you're not going to see too much pigment from this because it is very, very light. But so far, it's not too bad. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go into a darker color now. And I think I want to go into... I think I want to go into this one here. You guys can't really tell on camera, but... <coughs> excuse me. It's got a bit of a purple undertone to it. So I'm going to pop that into the crease as well and see how it goes. Now they do have a bit of a shimmer to them and they are a bit pow powdery, but they do got some nice pigment and they are blending out very nicely. All right, so I blended that shade into my crease. Now I do find this palette a little more uh, patchy than the last ones but you can build it up and it's not like so patchy that you can't work with it. Um, it's just gonna take you a little extra time to blend it if you want a beautiful seamless blend, but it's not terrible. It's, it's workable, but it, 
I do find this palette is a little patchier than the last ones. All right, so now I'm gonna go in to a deeper color from my outer corner. And I'm just grabbing another brush. And I think I'm gonna go in to this dark gray right here. And I'm just gonna pop that in my outer corner. See, this is the only thing that bugs me is how narrow and small these are. It makes it so hard to get your brush in there. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I do like that it came with a mirror. But I do wish it came with a little more um, matte shades because I find this palette is mostly shimmers and you're not getting any of the mattes that you really need to create a nice base. But like they are nicely pigmented and they are blending out very nicely. So for the price you're paying, for the $4 that you're paying, it's not terrible. They're just not like, you know, high quality. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish the outer corner. So I put that dark gray in the outer corner and I gotta say, I really do like this color. It's such a beautiful color. And it looks really good on the eye. And I put just a little bit into my crease, but keeping it really low just to give that little bit of a dimension. Now, for the inner corner, I'm going to go in to... I have been dealing with this cold now for like four days. And it's literally driving me up the wall now. Like, I'm so over it. It, like, started with my boy, and now it's on to me. And it's like, it's time to go away. <laughs> So for the inner corner, I really want to go into this pink shade right here. You guys can't really see it on camera, but it's this beautiful like baby pink shade. And I'm just going to put that in the inner portion of my eye. And I think, yeah, it's a shimmer. So I'm going to wet my brush just to intensify it just a little. Maybe we can get that pink to really shine. All right, so we're just gonna put that in the inner portion of my eye. And see where it does. And it's not too bad. They're just, they're really, really powdery. <coughs> so I find them a little hard to work with, but like, they're not, horrid this is definitely not my favorite look so far <laughs> but it's not bad like I'm not saying it's terrible I don't know it's just out of the three this is definitely my least favorite out of the three. All right, so I finished my eyes and the rest of my makeup off camera. Now for my bottom lash line, I think I'm gonna go in to that purplish gray again that we used in our transition. And I'm gonna do, put that in the bottom lash line just cause I think it's a beautiful color. It's got this beautiful purple undertone and it's just stunning. So I'm gonna take that right across the bottom lash line. See, it's just so pretty. And do the other eye. Now I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner. If I can find it. I can never find anything, I swear. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that into the waterline. Now, this is the Kohl's Hollywood and Vine pencil, and I'm gonna tell you, it is amazing. It is so pigmented, and it stays in your waterline really well. So I really enjoy it. Now for highlight, you guys know I am going to try a color in this palette or a shade. I'm just looking for my fan brush. Honey, I can't find nothing. <laughs> All right, here it is. And I think I'm gonna go in to, I'm gonna go in to this, it's like a tan shimmery shade and like mix it with this white one. And let's just see what happens, right? What's the worst that could happen? 
<laughs> Alright, ready? Well, it's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. We've had better, we've had better. This one, look, look, look at that powder coming off, like, girl, talk about powder AF. There's so much, but it's not the ugliest thing in the world, that's for sure. It does work, but it's definitely not one of the best that we found in a palette. I see even the other two palettes I found were better. I don't know, I just, this one is definitely not my favorite. My, I think the first one was my all-time favorite. That one just stunned me to the core on how, ooh, damn, girl, on how well that looked and just how well it blended and everything. It was just so pretty. That white is bright. All right. <laughs> now, for lips, I'm just going to go in with my Lip Fusion Lip Plumper. Nothing too crazy today. I love this. It gives it, you don't get that like harsh minty taste or f feeling or that, you know, pins and needles, but it does give it a little bit and plumps your lips out so beautifully. I definitely recommend this gloss if you love a gloss, girl. So good. <laughs> All right, so that is the final look using the Smoky palette. Now, like I said, this one definitely wasn't my favorite. I don't mind the way it turned out, but it did take a little more finessing than the other two palettes. But overall, it's not too bad. The highlight, it was a little too light for me. If you have lighter skin, it might work for you, but it is powdery AF, but it didn't turn out the worst. Like I said, we've had worse on this channel, but it didn't turn out too bad. It actually looks pretty good. It just, this one definitely wasn't my favorite. Um, it is for the price that you're paying for $4. It did turn out very pretty and they do work very well. Um, like I said, you do have to take a little bit extra blending on the shadows, but the overall look is very beautiful, so I do recommend if you want to give these a try and, you know, you're new to makeup and you're just learning how to do shadows, then I definitely recommend palettes like this because you're only paying $4 and it gives you the experience with the shadows and how to blend with them and work with them and create with them. So if you're one of those people, then definitely give these a try. Even someone more experienced, like I will probably use this again because... It's hard to find gray tones like that. <laughs> but overall, like I said, it wasn't too bad. For the price we paid, it wasn't a bad palette. Now, if you guys aren't already, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. Also, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my upcoming uploads. You know, guys, I love you all so much, and it means the world to have you all a part of my fam jam here. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like these types of videos, please give it a big thumbs up so I know you're enjoying them. And of course, I'll keep on filming them, filming them for you. Have a great day, guys. I love you all.